Hello everyone, uh, in the last video I showed you the process of making bird lamp. Uh, turned out okay, as you can see there's a couple problems with it. I, I tried to make the base by stacking the plywood, like layers of plywood and loads of gaps on it and you can see loads of glue. And also having the slot for the LEDs uh, smaller than the width of the acrylic doesn't work that well because the light doesn't really spread sideways that well. So um, in this video, I'll be making lamp 2.0, which will have a wider slot, more LEDs, and a different base. So stay tuned, buckle in for this crazy ride. All right. Let's see what we got here. Alright, so now I'm going to cut out the side panels for the base. I'm going to etch on what notions on the side first and then we'll cut it out and see how this goes. That turned out pretty nice. I like it. Alright, so here's where we are so far looking pretty good I like it you can see the slot I'm gonna put a switch in here that look like that and yeah so I'm just gonna cut out the end pieces now one of the end pieces has a slot for a DC jack for the power input all right so just cut out the end piece this is the DC jack I'll be using it just has two terminals on the end see it just about it's in like that. It's pretty cool. For the image, I'm gonna be using just a sheet of acrylic. Just peel off the protective covering on one side so we can etch it. Throw it in. And uh, so now I'm just gonna line everything up. This is where we're at right now. Um, so I cut out the box and I replaced the top with white acrylic just because I thought it'd look a bit better. And um, what else? So that's kind of how it looks right now. It's pretty cool. The slot in the acrylic isn't big enough, so there's a bit of wobble in it. All right, so unfortunately for this part, we're gonna have to say goodbye to bird lamp because I need it for parts. I also dropped it and broke off one of its wings. So I'm gonna have to put it out of its misery. 